You're not going to be appearing in this. Why are you here? That might be appearing in this. He's not, though. Oh, you wish. that I hear? Is that a harp? Yes, it is. Lolly ho, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is, uh, <laughs> if it wasn't obvious by all my lolly hoing and my, uh, well, my nickname being Hellblades FFXI, I quite love the series. A great darkness shrouded the world. As one might be able to tell, this is obviously not the NES version. This is the uh, PlayStation remake on the Final Fantasy Origins CD. The wind died. So we get the cool little cutscene and much, much better graphics and much more detailed intro. <clears throat> I mean, it's still pixelated graphics, but trust me, this is way more than the 8-bit. Uh, the sea raged. The earth began to decay. Only a prophecy kept hope alive in people's hearts. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. And after journeying far, four young warriors did at last appear. In the hands of each rested a mysterious crystal. In the original game, they were orbs. Yep, so welcome then. That really long intro. Um, I'm going to be playing it in normal mode. Easy mode is obviously easier. Uh, I think it adjusts the stats of certain monsters and such. Stuff like that. Drop rates. I'm not sure what all it does, actually. I'll have to look into that. I'll look into it and get more, more back with you. But, anywho. So, how are we doing this? So, what we're going to do is I and some friends of mine, essentially, my, uh, some of the members of my group, uh, ones I'm making the videos for, actually, I, I popped a question on them, and only one of them knows why, and this is why. So, my favorite of the f of these six classes is uh, Red Mage. There's Warrior, which is a fighter. Um, originally, this was known as Fighter. Uh, thief. Monk, which was originally called Black Belt. Red Mage, White Mage, and Black Mage. Um, basically you have three physical classes and three magical classes. Um, Warrior is basically your tank, does wields heavy armor, heavy weapons, stuff like that. Thief is exactly the opposite, light armor, light weaponry, very fast. Uh, very nice to have one on your team. Monk, no armor. You 
but I, like you want armor to start with as a monk, but you don't want to end with armor. Like your stats are more level based. So if you're not wearing armor, then your stats are based exactly on your level. I think defense is equal to your level and attack is equal to your level times two or something like that. Uh, Red Mage is literally a blend of everything. I'll explain more to that later. White Mage is healing, healing and light magic. Black Mage is destructive magic, uh, usually elemental based. So my favorite is Red Mage. And this is me. We're just going to call ourselves H Blades. Or H Blade, as the case may be, because of character limitations, yes. That last space you cannot, yeah, see, blades. <laughs> Blads. Just do H Blade. So, the next in my roster is is my good old friend, the, if you remember him from the Pokemon Yellow run, he is Bruise. His favorite was White Mage. Next is, and this is something they weren't expecting, I have a thief. And that thief is under multiple names, but that is going to be using Lilula. I, I, there's supposed to be two O's, just to imagine there's two O's there. And then finally, we have our monk. And that's going to be... Anakin. So this is our party makeup. Red Mage, White Mage, Thief, Monk. I will be changing order as soon as we get done, but... Because I do not want the Red Mage in front. <laughs> so, speaking of that, I hit the wrong button, but that's okay. Um, ooh, not equipment. Not equipment. Formation. Um, so it's immediately A, get the Monk in front. B, get the Thief ahead of the White Mage. and the, Okay, there we go. So that's the order, because it doesn't help a lot, but the person on the top does get attacked more often than the person on the bottom. It's like, how, how is it? It's like an even split, almost. Right, there's no front row and back row, it's just top to bottom. So, person on the bottom takes the least, is the least apt to be hit. They're, they're, they can still get hit a lot. Random number generators and all that. Um, but they have the lowest chance of being targeted, so... We don't have any equipment right now. Um, in fact, I hit the wrong button again. I got to remember what button is my menu. Um, yeah, see, we have we have nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we need to go to town and get some stuff. Now, as I said, and oh, there's a guard behind us. Um, oh yeah, this game has running, by the way. So yay. Um, the monks are usually best to have no equipment, but they will want to start with a nunchaku um, and a piece of gear. Um, with Thief, I'm going to want the knife, I think. Well, I might be able to afford the rapier, actually. Yeah, I think the rapier will be better. So I want two rapiers, one for my Thief and one for my Red Mage, and for the sake of having it, we'll have a hammer for the White Mage. Okay, so that's got weapons down. That wasn't very expensive. Let's go to the armor shop. Okay, armor shop is a little more expensive. You want the leather armor. Um, now, technically, the Red Mage can wield the chainmail, which is really nice for defense, but the Red Mage does not have the HP to support being tanky. So we're just going to buy three leather armor and one shirt. And that leaves us with 200 gil. That's actually probably good. So let's go ahead and equip everybody. I can't remember when the monk wants to take off their weapon. And like I said, yeah, see how they're attack and defense. And defense is one, attack is two. So we'll be using the nunchuck until level eight, I think. Because that's whenever the attack actually is better. And same thing with the leather armor. We'll want the leather armor until level four. So with Lilula, we get the rapier and the leather shirt, leather armor. Again with Hellblades. Another armor, and then hammer, and shirt. So, yeah, the shirt doesn't do much as far as defense goes. In fact, let me show that. It does do a little bit, considering my mage has no defense whatsoever. But, eh, it's better than nothing. So, that's got that. And... And... Aha! Spell shops. So, these little icons here, this is white magic, this is black magic. 
So we're going to go for white magic first. The spells are expensive. Okay, spells are very expensive. Um, each person can only learn up to three spells from a tier. This is all level one white magic. Um, that's what the level one means. So the white mage would not be able to learn all of these spells. Um, the advantage I have, though, is the fact that I can, however, have... The White Mage can learn Daya, or Daya, and Blink, and the Red Mage can learn Shield and Cure. Now, I'm probably going to want both of them to learn Cure 1. Um, and I'm going to have the Red Mage learn Shield while having White Mage learn the other two. That way it kind of even, evenly blends it. You might also notice Knight and Wizards are over there. We'll get more onto that much, much, much later in the game. So for now, though, we're going to get... Yeah, see? Spell slots. Um, we're going to get uh, the White Mage Cure. And probably could go ahead and get Cure on him as well. Do we want... Might go with Battle Magic, actually. Having Black Magic may not hurt. Let me see what Black Magic I can learn. Because I may be able to actually just do okay, Fire and Bolt. Focus. Focus isn't very helpful. Sleep isn't very helpful either. So I think it only affects one person. So I may do fire, bolt, and either shield or cure. But let's start with fire. Okay. So that's... We are now broke. Not a very good position to get myself into here. But Nate, would you move please? Thank you. Our king is searching for the light warriors. Wait, can you be... Please, go see His Majesty at once. And they don't give you an option. In the NES game, you could literally not, you know, go, never go to the castle if you really wanted to. It was not smart, but you could. Travelers, is it true that you are crystal bearers? Yeah, we hold up for crystals. The prophecy says when darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. But, Your Majesty, we have no proof that these four are the light, true light warriors. The text is really slow. I really should change that. Surely it is not a coincidence that four warriors bearing crystals have appeared now. Brave ones, I need your help. Please rescue my daughter, Sarah. Garland, once a knight in his... Oh, this is the, the guy. Garland, once a knight in his majesty's service, has abducted Princess Sarah. We have learned that he is in the Temple of Chaos, north. Uh, Cornelia. Cornelia. I keep forgetting that name. We attempted to rescue the princess, but his power was far surpassed ours. Perhaps you wish to cross the Northern Strait. The bridge that once spanned it has long lost. It was lo lost long ago, oh my god. If you bring my daughter back safely, I will build a new bridge. I'm counting on you. Alright, so that's our task. Um, I will also... Something I meant to bring up earlier. Uh, maybe wondering... Is there anything interesting? Report that Garland has fled to Temple Chaos. I've already been told that. Um, you may be wondering why no Paper Mario vid. Um, apparently, I cannot re-challenge the Master, so I'm very saddened by this. Uh, so the only way that by because of the way I've been saving over old slots in order to Jane, Queen of Cornelia, please save my daughter. I beg you. I forgot the Queen was in here. Um. And shut herself in a room out of grief, but yet the door wasn't locked. Anyway, um, but yeah, I can't re-challenge the master, and because of the way I save every recording, I uh, would copy my file over to another save file, basically, and forgot to leave one for that, so, oh well. Garland was once an honorable knight. What could have driven him to such hatred? That's a good question. I Do they ever explain that? I don't remember. I know in the original game they didn't. I want my sis back. Oh, you must be the, the younger sister. Okay. Maybe he thought his uh, service his service to the kingdom was overlooked. Our ancestors sealed the weapons away here and left the key in the Elven Prince's keeping. He was to guard it until the light warriors came. Aw. I want prizes. Thought with a mystic key. Okay. And that's the, you say the exact same thing as the other guy. Okay. So yeah, we can't get anything out of here. 
Okay. Real quick, like, since we're doing this kind of tech speed, oh my god, please be faster. Thank you. Because, yes, that tech speed doesn't change, but it should change in, in there. Also, yeah, I'll leave the blue. That's fine. Collections, yeah, that's the special features. That lets you find, you know, see enemies and stuff like that. Bestiary, uh, items. I forgot the letter. artwork, I think, is one of them. Basically, as you build up the bestiary and the uh, collected items out of, like, treasure chests and such, it unlocks artwork and such as that, whatever the last one is. Um, yeah, it's a special feature from that. Also, the only way to save in this game is to rest at an end, just so you know. So this is, uh, this is how the game's gonna go. Now, I could potentially walk up to, uh, the where I'm supposed to, to go fight this guy, but let me tell you, you're not ready for that when you first start Strike Out. Just like any, any good old Final Fantasy game, you're gonna wanna stop and, uh, beat up some normal monsters before you try that. So, 18 gil. I don't think that's enough for an end stay. I'm just trying to get up enough to stay at the end one good time, to be honest with you. So I can finalize the, the save. Although, showing you a little bit of grinding is not going to hurt, because I'm going to be grinding a little bit before going up there. Um, after I stay at the end, I may show you why. No, that wouldn't hurt. I could go up there and get my butt kicked. That, that would work. Not like I'm going to try to lose. I will try to win. If, if I can beat the area at this level, that'd be nice. I don't think I can, though. Um, how much skill I've got? 48. I think you only need 30 to stay at the end? Let me see. And now there's no guard since we've talked to the king, so. Alright, before I do that. Want to hear about equipment? Yes. The equipment can be divided into weapons and armor. You can only equip them in the equipment menu. As you may already know, weapons are used to attack enemies. Armor can be divided into four groups. Body armor, shield, helm, and gloves. Suits of armor protect your body, but can be heavy. Armlets can be a good light alternative. Shields can deflect beneath a blow in battle. Helms protect the head. And gloves protect the hands. Kind of obvious. Here's some tips on items. Some equipment can be used as items in battle. You may, you'll may you have to try each piece out to see what, it, if it, what effect it has, if any. Sleeping bags, tents, and cottages can only be used outdoors. They restore your HP and save your progress, so use them wisely. Also, never hurts to keep a good supply of potions and antidotes on hand. You may receive key items along your journey. Their purpose may not always be clear, so try using them in different places. Expert on monsters. Every kind of monster has a weakness of some sort. Learn that weakness in combat will be made much easier. For example, water creatures are vulnerable to lightning, so choose spells and weapons accordingly. That's pretty much right. A lot about magic. There are two types of magic, black and white. White magic mainly heals, while black magic is used for attacks. You can learn up to three spells per level. If you already have three spells and wish to learn another, you must drop one by select first drop one by selecting drop. Then you can learn another spell. You can relearn a spell you previously dropped in the same manner. Well, my best advice is to find your own fighting style. Okay, so those guys are not in the normal NES game. Like, in fact, the rooms for the uh, inns and such are not actually tiles you can walk around in. It's you walk in and you're talking to the shopkeep instantly. Um, of course, given this is... Oh, yeah. Don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> I was starting a monk-only run, and that's another thing about this game is infinite replayability. Literally near-infinite replayability, because you can always go back through and try it with a different party set up, or even attempt a uh, solo, you can try to beat the game with only one guy. That's very hard. I think the furthest I've gotten with one of those runs was a monk, and it was... Oh, what? where did I get to? I don't remember where I got to. I think I rescued one of the crystals. Anyway. So we're gonna just make our way across the across the battle, fields of battle here, and kill us some goblins, and try to make our way up to the castle that, the Temple of Chaos, whatever they call it.
Although I can just hold X at this point. Here's the simple chaos. Oh, wow. Spiders. That spider did a lot of damage. And that spider's quite fast. So, the spiders are kind of one of the reasons that you really don't want to come here to start with. Oh, sure, I can kill them in two hits, but look how much damage they do. That was a good amount of EXP, but god, I don't know if it was worth it. Oh well, let's see if we can manage it. You know what? I'm actually gonna try it. Let's just run straight in here. At last, in exchange for the princess's life, all of Cornelia and its riches will be mine. Blasted pawns of the king. No one can stop me now. Very well. I shall take on all of you. Oh, this is a little early for a final battle. Well, let's go ahead and start casting magic, because, uh... goes HP. I'm down for the count. Oh no, I'm glad I was healing Anakin. Well, oh, full-on battle now. Attack! Well, there goes Anakin. Wow, are you serious? I I don't know what to think about that. The problem is now my levels are all skewed. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be keeping that, but you kind of see the point. I'll stop right here, and next time, folks, we'll actually come to this by natural progression instead of bum-rushing it and dying. Trust me, there's going to be a lot of off-screen grinding in this game. Until next time, folks, have a good one.